Alright, hey everyone, King 77 here from the ACS team here to do an updated video on how to root and install Clockwork Mod on your uh, Samsung Epic 4G. The reason I'm doing this is just because um, with previous versions of with different kernels there are problems so I'm gonna go ahead and do an updated video I'll link to this video from my older videos just showing you from stock the best way to root and clockwork mod your device so you can install ROMs, kernels, themes, etc. Uh, with clockwork mod as well as get free wireless tethering but anyways what you're gonna need to do is just go ahead and power off your phone initially just to start with you can power it on off you don't need your phone until a little bit later. But click on the link in the description of the video. Actually, I'm gonna have you guys install Samsung keys before you do anything, so that will be, I'll link that in the description of the video. It's basically the drivers for your phone to have on your PC. You're also gonna need Odin. Uh, there's, I'll post a link to that in the description of the video. It'll be a zip file, and inside that zip file, you're just gonna need to put two, fi two files inside that zip into a folder, these two. So just make sure these two files are in a folder together out of the zip, so pull it out of the zip so you can open up Odin. So once you have keys installed and you have Odin downloaded, uh, you're good to go. Click on the link in the description of the video, as I said, it takes the Android Creative Syndicate forum. Uh, but as big thanks to Chris41G for posting this kernel for us. It's gonna give you root access as well as install Clockwork Mod. So um, as you can see, it's called the Lost Kernel. Um, gives you root, BusyBox, and Clockwork Mod 5. Uh, but go ahead and scroll down once you're on the link. So keep scrolling down and you have actually two versions. You have a standard version uh, right there and then you also have a uh, experimental version which is right there. So you got experimental and standard. Uh, the reason I'm telling you about this is just because um, the experimental versions for more people that do like to overclock. So my, I would say if you like to overclock your device using set CPU or voltage control. So you got, for experimental, you use set CPU or voltage control to overclock it. Otherwise, if you don't really care much about uh, overclocking or you just kinda wanna make sure you have a stable version of root to start with, use the standard version. So uh, this is from stock. So what you're gonna need to do is download a tar file. Uh, basically what that is is a file that you use with Odin to get on your device. So you got all builds right there. Click on that link. It's gonna take you to this website. It's where his download links are, Chris41Gs. Uh, but go down to the bottom where the latest one is and right now the uh, basically the stable version, the latest stable version is Lost Kernel 1024 tar.md5, which is the tar file that you use with Odin. Uh, if you have a previous version of Clockwork Mod and want to flash this kernel, then you just use the zip file and wipe cache and delve cache and then install the zip. But anyways, click on this download link. It's the latest version of the Lost Kernel, which I'm having you guys do, which will root your phone and install Clockwork Mod as well. Um, as I said, it's going to be tar.md5. It looks like that right there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, like that lost kernel right there. Just make sure you have that somewhere and you know where it is. But once you have that downloaded, you're actually good to go. Once you have Odin as well as um, this file, you're actually good to go. What you're going to need to do is I'm going to have you guys actually open up Odin. So find Odin in that folder, double click on it, and then hit yes. All right, so it brings this up, and now all you're gonna really have to do is go to um, these checkboxes in the upper left corner right here, and only make sure auto reboots checked. So only have auto reboot checked, and then uncheck F re reset time as well. So once you're done there, uh, go to the PDA box right there, and then press the box right there. So check, uh, press the PDA box, it's gonna open up a, a folder. Go to wherever your downloads folder is. I'm going to my downloads folder right there and then find wherever that lost kernel was downloaded. So as you can see right there, uh, right there, lost kernel 1024.tar.mb5. So just double click on it. So that's all you're gonna have to do is put that lost kernel right there into the PDA box. It does check it. Just make sure that this is checked right next to the PDA box. And once it is, you make sure you only have auto reboot checked and you're good to go. Now you can actually grab your def your def Epic, your Epic Touch, and what you're gonna need to do is uh, press and hold the volume down button and camera button at the same time. So press and hold both of those together. So keep it held down as well. So keep it held down until it gets into uh, Odin mode. So as you can see, it says warning. Um, 
selling a custom OS can cause critical problems. Just press volume up to continue. So press the volume up button, and as you can see, you're in download mode, Odin mode. Up at the top says uh, Odin mode, as you can see. Um, but anyways, all you're gonna have to do now is plug your phone into your PC. So grab your micro USB cable and plug in your Epic 4G Touch into your PC. Once it plugs in, let it install the drivers or do whatever it's doing. And once it installs the drivers and makes sure everything is good, Odin will recognize your phone by showing you this yellow box right there saying COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is because it will be different depending on your PC. But just make sure that that yellow box is there and then you should be good to go. All you're gonna have to do now is hit the start button. So only auto reboots checked. You got the lost kernel in the PDA slot and have that checked as well and just hit start and you should be good to go. It should run through, it shouldn't take long at all. Kernels aren't, don't take long to flash through Odin. Um, should not take long whatsoever. As you can see, it's done already. It's gonna reboot your Epic Touch, as you can see. You will see that it has a triangle now, an exclamation point. I do have a video showing you how to get rid of it. So definitely be sure to check that video out. I'll post that in the description of the video in case you wanna get rid of the yellow triangle. Um, but anyways, and you'll also see that the boot animation will change a little bit, but no big deal whatsoever. Uh, but as you can see, it only takes eight seconds to flash, so if it's taking longer than that, definitely something wrong. Um, it should only wait one minute, and otherwise uh, you might have to try it again. But anyways, now that my phone, my Epic uh, 4G Touch has uh, rebooted, actually I'm gonna go to my app drawer. And inside my app drawer, as you can see, you got super user right there. So there you go. So now you're rooted and you do have clockwork mod. I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get into clockwork mod. So uh, to get into clockwork mod, you'll have to have your phone off. So I'm gonna go ahead and power off my Epic Touch. All right, and now that my phone has powered off, I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna to need to do to boot into clockwork mod. So whenever I say that, you'll know how. To do so, you just press the volume up and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those. So keep it held down, keep them held down, and just continue to hold it. So you're gonna see a screen, and it should go back to this screen again. Like so, so um, definitely just keep it on held down until it goes into clockwork mod. All right, and as you can see, it did take a little while to reboot, but now you are in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, as you can see, Clockwork Mod Recovery version 5.0.2.7, right there. Um, to navigate through Clockwork Mod, what you need to do is press the volume up and down button to navigate through, and then to select something. So if I wanted to hit install zip from SD card, press the power button. So actually, no, on this version of Clockwork Mod, uh, you can press the home button to select things, but if you do want to press the power button, what you need to do is actually uh, go up and down between power off and reboot system a couple times until it says back menu button enabled. So it's a little goofy thing with Clockwork Mod right now. Hopefully it gets updated soon. But as you can see, to navigate through Clockwork Mod and you want to press the power button to select things, you hit uh, you go up and down between those. So now you can hit the power button. Otherwise, you'll need to hit the home button. So just a heads up there, if the power button isn't working for you, that's how you get the power button working again, or you can use the home button. So just a heads up there with this version of Clockwork Mod version 5.0.2.7. I'm sure it'll be updated sometime very soon. So I'll probably do a video if it does get updated. But anyways, this is your latest video on how to root and Clockwork Mod your uh, Samsung Epic 4G Touch for Sprint. I do have a video showing you how to use free wireless tethering if that's all you wanted to root your device for, which is fine, not a problem. And I also have a video on how to unroot it as well. So I'll get all those links to those different videos in the description of my video for you guys so it's all in one place you can just click and find them all in this one video description so if you do have any questions run into any problems feel free to ask any questions i'll be happy to answer them uh, otherwise be sure to subscribe as well for future videos and thanks for watching guys i hope you guys like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up